let me know and then i'll start the stupid intro that i always do okay hi everybody welcome to duck blur it's monday i'm cold but i'm ready to you know keep this going so it's uh it's been a little bit since the end of the last session for those who weren't there uh a few villains by the name of the fearsome four made themselves known in that event but uh that's not really relevant to today's session so what is relevant is that a big name fashion designer is actually coming to duckburg uh they are very well known for a lot and i mean a lot of clothing lines they're very influential so it's a kind of a big deal that they're coming to Duckburg. They're having like an open, you know, out in the open fashion show, just free for the public to watch, but you gotta pay if you wanna get really up close to the stage, you know? But fun stuff, fun stuff. Uh, on the eve of that uh, event happening though, there were some really weird reports of the police station of clothing kind of like trying to choke people. And the police were like, eh, that's weird. This is Duckburg though, so that's either a prank or something's really wrong. Uh, but it only happened last night. So it's the morning now, the morning of the day that the, uh, the very well-known fashion designer, D. Eigner, is coming to Duckburg. I'm gonna go down the players in this call and ask what might they be doing on this lovely morning? So, Cliff and Golden Eagle. Mm -hmm. I uh, I actually have uh, it's the morning so what do you do in the morning I will say it's not a school day it is the weekend it is Saturday well I mean Cliff would get up from his bed probably just have a big old headache like he usually does because that seems to be his normal nowadays or at least ever since Golden Eagle became a thing so, literally, he wakes up to just a gigantic headache every morning. So, he's kind of holding his head, just sort of like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, I'm awake. Um. Mm -hmm. what, what's today? And he looks at his little calendar, and he sees, Oh, God, that's today, isn't it? Yep, it absolutely is today. So wake up, little man. It's time to wake up. <clears throat> okay, I know you were invited to this, but do... Is the outfit necessary for the... Well, it wasn't necessarily my idea, but Beeks insisted that I wear it, and he insisted that I go to it. And you're going to be a good little boy. Suck it up and deal with it. Okay. By the power yeah. of the sun, I am Golden Eagle. <laughs> okay. In the driver's seat now. Time to get to work. Wait, this bitch has a license? <laughs> I was about to just, you know, elaborate on- to... Yes! <laughs> Bitch, you don't need a license when you can fly. <laughs> Golden Eagle, can you try? No. So, yeah, you're right. Beaks did uh, call you, and you're mostly, you know, all right with today. See, you were called, um, you know, it's a publicity thing. You go there and all that. But uh, last night, actually, another reason why you might have a headache is that uh, there was a call from Beaks uh, that essentially said, Hey, so weird stuff's happening with clothes and there's a fashion show tomorrow. So like, you're there on hero duty too now, like bodyguard type duty. Also, I'm sending in another hero, some weirdo named Sandstorm, I don't know. So uh, <laughs> you are actually gonna be teamed up with another superhero. Uh, right. Well, so long as he doesn't get in the way of my, well, I guess better word for it is show, I guess. But as long as he doesn't get in the way, then it should be good. Maybe I can just have him carry a bag or something. <laughs> Make the poor lad feel important. Well, 
uh, <laughs> speaking of Sandstorm, Darius, when you wake up this morning, <laughs> you wake up this morning, uh, you, you know, if you want to tell me a bit about Darius's room or the wake up routine, that's fine. But you do wake up knowing that you have been asked to be on essentially bodyguard duty with another superhero named Golden Eagle at this fashion event going on in Duckburg. Uh, well, my room is pretty, um, you know, I just have stuff everywhere. I bring stuff from my hero work, my missions, you know, it's just scattered all about my room. Uh, see, I woke up this morning and, um, I, Uh, bright and early and did my usual routine of um, getting some exercise in before uh, gelling my hair and setting out a lucky hourglass in tow. All right, Darius, that is a good routine. So you and Golden Eagle set out to go to that fashion event. You'll run into each other when you get there, but in the meantime, Harriman, my dear sweet agent, my lovely, lovely rabbit man. <laughs> on this on this Saturday morning, my sweet beloved Harriman, how do you wake up? Probably very roughly because honestly, I think <laughs> just um Morning is probably not his best time. <laughs> oh no, Harriman. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you uh you actually as you wake up this morning, uh all shush agents have a communicator, of course, a way to keep in contact. Uh your communicator is actually buzzing shortly after you wake up. Oh, oh boy, of course, <laughs> of course. So he, he goes and he just basically answers it. <laughs> the, uh, there's a little hologram of an agent that comes up, uh, an agent you don't know too well. Uh, his name you think is Jacob? He's like, hi, uh, the agent Carrot. Yes, report in? Yes, reporting. Right, uh, there has been some suspicious activity ever since late approximately 3.32 a.m. last night uh, involving clothes becoming sentient. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, but oh. you're one of the only agents we have stationed here in Duckburg like that's really close to the scene of that fashion event that's going on. So I was asked to put you uh, in charge of going there incognito and keeping an eye on things to make sure that they don't go wrong. Uh, okay, then. Okay. Right. He's trying to wake himself up as he's hearing this. He's like, "All right." Oh, I'm sorry. Was this was this too early? I uh, no, 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 no. I, it's, just... it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's urgent. It's important. We might as well, we might as well do it early. Right. That's the good agent spirit, Agent Carrot. Uh, good luck with the mission. Uh, report back after the show is done. You know, let us know how it went. If anything went wrong, all that, uh, or if you need backup. Uh, uh, Agent Jacob out, and then the communication ends. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think he didn't really want to wake up today, but he's like, okay, then, I guess time to do work already. <laughs> yep, uh, back to the grind, as it were. You gotta get up, get your breakfast, and then instantly to work. Uh, before you do actually though another thing uh i have a question where does harriman keep the zero unit pin uh probably somewhere close by to that other communicator because i know he has like a two <laughs> right units, next so. to it <laughs> but, <I'm laughs> right right it but like probably <laughs> well he's not that organized man <laughs> <laughs> 
so right after that call ends, you, you know, sigh and you go to continue on. And then you hear the zero unit communicator beeping. Oh, he kind of paused to look at that because he was getting ready to like put on clothes and stuff. He's like, wait a minute. Sees that, goes back and answers that too. <laughs> you, uh, you hear the voice of Uno through the pin just, so you just got a call from Shush, huh? you know that <laughs> like i told you i'm a highly advanced ai i uh i'm good at monitoring multiple things at once okay then <laughs> all right then i was just calling to make sure that you know you should probably report to me too or if you find anything you know suspicious then don't bring it to me bring it to von drake uh just as a warning i don't want you bringing too many strangers into the tower Unless it's just you, then go ahead. But uh, report to me, too. This is highly suspect. It could just be a weird villain, or it could be foul, or God who knows. You know, worst case scenario. Regardless, I would like to hear about it, Agent. Okay, then. I can do that as well. <laughs> also, if you see Valentine... Tell him he doesn't have to sneak into the tower to see the bowel agent we have here. He could literally just ask me. Is he actually doing that? Is he actually going in and... <laughs> oh, he, he, he tried. He tried. He sure did try. <sighs> okay, if I see him, I'll tell him. Thank you. Uh, good luck. And uh, have fun at the fashion show. Maybe you can pick up an outfit or two. Then again, I already have outfits in the works, but eh, I'm no fashion designer. Good luck. And he hangs up. <laughs> oh man, he just sighs after that. Like, geez. Well, today's gonna be busy. <laughs> it sure as hell is. <laughs> <laughs> How is my favorite mean bitch in Duckburg doing this morning? She's not a morning person. She's not happy to be awake. But she's... <laughs> she probably has, like, a normal run-of-the-mill morning routine with the addition of checking and cleaning her gun as well. She has to be ready to pop a motherfucker, I guess. Well, I mean, if she's going to be, she's not going to be popping anyone much of, like, she's not going to be popping very many people, because she only still has just the one bullet left. She hasn't gotten any more. Ah, I see. So, Alyssa, you know that that, uh, that big fashion show <laughs> is happening in Duckburg today. Now, you... Wouldn't have a reason to go, I'm going to assume. Well, you can find out some interesting things with high-profile events like this, so it wouldn't hurt to at least linger around it, see what you can overhear. Ah, good, good mind that you have, Lissa. Uh, also, Timothy wanted to go. <laughs> Of course he did! He probably is the one that woke her up. <laughs> Timothy was like, it's happening today, it's happening today, it's happening today, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh! Wake up! Wake up! Oh my god, can you not go by yourself? This is the perfect chance to get some good fashion tips for my new costume! And I need to drive you. Yes! Oh, okay, go get in the car. I'll get in the car! And Timothy runs off to get in the car. <laughs> Precious. When you, when you get out to the car, you see that Tim is sitting in the driver's seat. What are you doing? I thought I could drive. Get out. But I... I thought you need to be no, in the car for you to no. take me. I... Get out of the driver's Lissa! seat. 
No, the last time I let you drive, you didn't. Okay. Do you not remember the last time you drove, your eyes left the road for two seconds, and that flock of chickens ran out into the street. You mowed down three of them. I mean, it was an accident, and like you know, right? Uh, look, it was a it was an evil deed of the day. So get into the passenger seat. Fine, <laughs> and he, he slides into the passenger seat. Lizard gets into the car, <laughs> and off you go. And off we go <laughs> into town. And that finally brings us to show Candy. Yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, my sweet boy, Candy. How do, how is your morning routine this this early Sunday uh, Saturday morning? Sorry, I have no brain cells. Any um. Well, surprisingly, good because he is an early bird, so he has been up and making breakfast for the rest of his roommates. Um. Or really, housemates. So. He actually bought tickets to the thing, so he knows, and he's been excited. Oh boy. Uh, all the housemates would be Grim, Eatsots, and Magic? Grim, Eatsots, Magic, yeah. Magic is a... Is she a morning person, or would she still be sleeping? Oh, she's been up. She just got back from her morning jog. Oh boy, is she tired? Is she? No. I want to say that she might be a little okay. She's she, a like, little bit, she, but like... she's not gonna let it show. <laughs> she's she's too strong. Magic comes in and she's like, "Hey," and you know, goes up, and she's like, "Uh, thanks for breakfast." You know, she sees that Candy's making it. It's probably a normal routine. So she's just like, "Yeah, thanks for breakfast," and you know, goes to the table. Yeah, no problem. Are the others going to wake up anytime soon, or do I need to wake them up? Uh, that's a good question. Um, probably. <laughs> All right, and Magic goes to first wake up her dear baby son, <laughs> Isas. Wake up, She son. goes into his room. Goes to wake, he does up. Now, would Grim even sleep at all? Because Grim's not alive, um, technically. You'd be surprised. He does sleep, and he sleeps upside down like a bat. He sleeps like death. <laughs> <laughs> Big jokes. So, Itzots comes out of his room right as uh, you see magic skittering into Grim's room to wake him up. And Itzots comes over and he's like, Oh, hey, good morning. Uh, hi. <laughs> he goes to the table and sits. He's like, oh. What's Today's wrong? that thing, right? Yeah, and I need you to take me, because uh, I don't- I still don't have my license yet, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. I was just- yeah. Uh, yeah! You're excited for this, right? Yeah, I am. I'm super excited, and I'm super excited you're gonna be going with me. That makes he thought smile a bit. He's like, oh, I, uh, yeah, yeah, um, and he, like, shakes his head a bit as if he's trying to wake himself up. He's like, yeah, I'm, I mean, this isn't normally my kind of thing, but, like, you're excited, so that's, that's cool. This is cool. This is gonna be cool. And you see Grim come out of his room and go over to the table and have a seat, and he's just like, good morning. Yeah, morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I slept like death. Haha. <laughs> uh, you know, he does little finger guns, and then he's just sitting at the table, and Magic joins them, and they're all just ready for breakfast. Woohoo. Uh... Candy, you sweet morning bird, you. Thank you for making breakfast for everyone. <laughs> yes. Uh... I suppose they do, like, finish up breakfast rather quickly, uh... And, um, you know, he cleans up. <laughs> Every- 
you know, everyone has their breakfast. There's some, you know, light, you know, table conversation, but it's kind of chill because, you know, it's the morning. Not everyone's super energized except for you and a little bit eats hots because he's like, he's happy to take you. Uh, after breakfast, he's like, is it, is it just going to be us? Uh, I think so. Does anyone else want to come? And like everyone else is Magic like, no. shakes her head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're like, no. Grim's like, ah, not my scene. And Magic's just like, no. And no further explanation given. So <laughs> they, they, they say no, they hop off the table, they leave. <laughs> yeah. So it's just Eatsots and uh, Candy. And they, you know, go to the car and Eatsots is like, I'm ready to drive. So hop in. Yeah. Candy does hop in. Very gingerly. And is trying to uh hide his really, really obvious fucking crush on this goddamn man. <laughs> pray for pray for candy within within the same space as eat sauce, it's very gay. Off they <laughs> go. To, uh, <laughs> off they go to the fashion show, or at least where it's being set up. By the time you get there, there's already a crowd forming, you know. There's people who have paid for tickets oh. in line to get up front, and then there's the people who are just gonna be in the back to watch for free. Uh, and at the stage itself, however, uh, two people are there, and that's Golden Eagle and Sandstorm, because they're the heroes who were hired to be bodyguards. So, y'all, Golden Eagle, you get up to the stage, and I'm going to say, Sandstorm, quick lad that you are, you got there. Uh, just a little before Golden Eagle did, you guys are both waiting on the, uh, the fashion designer themselves. So, uh, I suppose this would be your first time meeting. Oh boy. Hmm. So you're the one who they sent? Uh yeah. Um, you know, uh they noticed my hero work. They noticed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh. no no, please do continue. Oh, um yeah, you know, they uh noticed uh how I, you know, accomplish my work. Uh Actually, you know what? You are already boring me. So I'm going to just go ahead and skip to the juicy bit of it. You can just go ahead and sit this one out just a little bit, okay? Just go ahead and collect your free paycheck. Stand there, look pretty, preferably, but I know that's kind of hard for you to do. But uh, yeah, just go ahead, stand there, collect your free paycheck, and we'll go through this night smoothly. Uh, but, um, what... But uh, d don't don't you want me to help? I mean, you know, I think I'd be a valuable <laughs> asset. <laughs> oh, 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 and they say newbies don't have a sense of humor. That's a good one. That's a good one. Why don't you go over there to the snack table, actually, and go fetch yourself some of those neat little uh, weenies on the dishes there with the little toothpicks. Ah. <sighs> Fine. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, you do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Justin. Golden, this is Golden Eagle, this, this, such is fine. This, is, this is like my first session of like anything. I'm bad at acting. <laughs> You're doing good. You it's okay. It. It's good. You're playing into it. That's good. Yeah, as uh, as Sandstorm goes away, you uh, I'm going to assume that Golden Eagle probably at Cliff's insistence at least has the zero unit pin on him, like at all times in uniform. Uh, yeah, though he, it is sort of like a reluctant sort of thing, so he keeps it like on like underneath the little collar underneath his cape, so that it's not shown. Yeah, like it's it's definitely hidden. Uh, you, Golden Eagle, you hear it beeping. Oh, I swear, if I wasn't forced to wear this stupid thing, what is it? Well, that show was a shit show you just put on. Really, really, you can't even be a little nice to the new whatever. Look. I need you to report to me anything suspicious that happens here. I know you're there on publicity, but 
if you can get a hold of anything that might explain the weird phenomenon that happened last night, if it happens there, I need you to be able to bring it to Von Drake. Right, right, right. I understand. I get you. Don't get the little circuits in a bunch. Also, Agent Carrot's going to be in the crowd, so keep an eye out. Well, I'll have to look down really closely, I won't. But, <laughs> sure. Also, uh, Cliff! Hello! Good morning! I hope you have a nice day. Uh, goodbye. And Uno hangs up after giving that little, you know, hello to Cliff. With that, Carrot, you, uh, did you drive there, or did you just, you know, go on a nice walk? He was taking the walks, so he probably walked there. <laughs> uh, just know. him and his umbrella on a perfectly sunny day. Yes. <laughs> As you're walking down, you know, there's cars driving up to, you know, let people out to join the crowd and all that. You know, there's a there's a car with a with a, a very grumpy looking cat, and then another cat in the passenger seat who's like grabbing at the wheel, and that doesn't look safe. But the car is remaining relatively stable despite that. There's a there's a car, you know, with this very very fashionable bird in the passenger seat, and you you know you think absentmindedly, oh, they must be really excited for this as you make it there, and uh. Those two cars, you know, they make it. And uh, Lissa, Tim, you make it first. Woohoo. It's a fucking miracle we stayed on the road. Well, I... God, you weren't driving fast enough. I was going the speed limit. That's not fast enough. Yeah, okay. Well, we need to follow the law. The law is... Stupid. I know, but do you want to get arrested over something as stupid as speeding? No, I want to get arrested for destroying Darkwing Duck or some other big stupid superhero. I know you do. And you're not going to be able to do that if... You get arrested for speeding. Exactly. Tim... Gets out of the car and, you know, crosses arms and grumbles and heads to the crowd. <laughs> Lissa gets out of the car and locks it up and goes to follow after him. So, you said it was a miracle that you managed to stay on the road at all. Uh, you did not have enough of a miracle to not scuff another car on the way there. Oh! That car... <laughs> Belonging to Itzatz, who oh, no. <laughs> has just made it and is like, did they seriously just hit our car and ignore it? Oh! Itzatz is now in a proper sour mood, like watching as Lissa and Tim get out of the car and is like, I. Uh, mm, should I. That's a leak! Should I. Oh. And he looks to Candy like as if for advice. Like, should I uh... tell them? Should I? What the fuck did you just do? I didn't do anything. They hit me. I mean, not even hit. Okay, you know they what? Scuffed, you know what? We no. we are getting out of the car right now. We are apologizing to them. Oh my god. Uh oh. Huh. oh, oh okay. Holy it shit! Us is gonna get out of the car <laughs> with Candy. Candy is getting the insurance <laughs> okay. information right now. He's getting the insurance information out of the fucking car, the glove compartment. He's just getting it out, and he's, like, running over, and he's like, Are you okay? What? Huh? Huh? Holy shit. You guys, you guys scuffed our car. Did you not notice that? Or And Tim huh. looks them over, he's just like, hmm. To be pretty honest with you, I didn't notice much of anything over him trying to rip the steering wheel out of my hand. Oh, Look, my God. I we went over this and ah, and Tim Christ. is just very frustrated. <laughs> and Eatsots looks them over and is just like, um, could we I Sorry? And he's like very <laughs> confused about if he should be the one apologizing or not. 
Like he's just like just Candy is actually looking oh, at. Candy wants me to apologize. Candy is like looking at it and just like, oh wait a minute, you hit our. Oh god damn it! I wasn't sure. I'm so no, sorry. You no, know, apology accepted. Tim, let's go. Oh god. Sweet sauce is like mm, very like peeved, but too like nervous to outright say it, and just kind of looks at Candy like. <sighs> Don't do the puppy face on me. What's the puppy face? <laughs> Nothing. Let's go. All right. And Eatsots is dragged into the into the crowd by Candy. They they have tickets, so they get to go to the line where they get to go to the Candy, front of the stage. Candy also has shoved back the insurance information back in the glove compartment and has is thoroughly peeved now, and he is like, "Fuck." Yep. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> you guys are all essentially there at the show, and it's pretty close to starting time. Uh, Golden Eagle and Sandstorm, you two are approached by someone. I'm going to send a picture of that. Okie dokie. All right. You two are approached by this person who you know to be D. Eigner, the very, very influential fashion designer who is coming to put on their show here. They approach Golden Eagle and Sandstorm are like, so you two are the chuckleheads they hired, huh? <laughs> oh, so cute of you to pretend you don't know who I am. But yes. Oh, uh, I know who you are. Friend. I know exactly who you are. Don't get me wrong here, Golden Eagle. You're a cheesy, pompous sellout of a hero who likes to soak in the fame and act all nice for the cameras. Some big shot with big muscles who thinks that makes a man. Well, you don't know what makes a man until you live without arms or do hard work or anything like that. Quite frankly, you're an embarrassment and your powers are the only thing separating you from the common chauvinist. They look to Sandstorm. You, I do not know. Oh, well, um, well, I don't know much about you either. Hmm, that's a new one. My name is the Eigner, and one of the uh, the scarves that has the like claws coming out of it goes over and offers itself as if for a handshake. I also offer my hand. They they shake your hand and they're like, hmm, you must be a pretty relatively new hero, or at least you haven't made enough buzz for me to notice. Regardless, uh, you've got that small town underdog quality about you. Uh, I want you closer to the front. Uh, Eagle, you're behind him. Excuse me? You heard me. You're behind oh, him. Oh, looks like the tables have turned. <laughs> it, I, and inside his head he's going eagle I wouldn't suggest that you okay whatever you say sir I am no sir please learn your employers before you meet them and Eigner heads off to you know introduce themselves and their fashion and all that fun stuff Frankly, you should be glad I don't call you Dust Pile. Oh. Uh, yikes. <laughs> yikes, indeed. Do you, uh, do you see an the announcer... claws on that guy? I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, did you see the claws on that guy? Uh, yeah, many, many claws. Probably some form of advanced robotics or something. They, uh, they approach a microphone as an announcer over the speakers outside, you know. It's a big stage with a catwalk, all that fun stuff set up in one of the more open streets, street areas of Duckburg. And uh, an announcer says, ladies, gentlemen, everyone else, may I present to you D. Eigner? And, uh, of course, 
pause for applause as the crowd goes wild and Dee steps up to a podium with like a mic and all that at the main stage area. Their, uh, their face is projected on these big TV screens to help show off the uh, designs that will be shown on the catwalk, all that fun stuff. And uh, they look over the crowd and they say, hello, Duckburg, welcome to my show. And they hold their arms, quote unquote, out as if, you know, to motion to the stage. And uh, they, again, wait for applause at that statement. It is a great honor to be here in Duckburg. I've been around the world a lot, but coming back here is always a pleasure and a privilege, especially when I am invited by people as prodigious as, you know, <laughs> well, everyone here knows Mr. McDuck. And, you know, that's part, everyone here knows that's part of why Eigner is back. It was a thing that McDuck Enterprises was helping fund a little bit, you know, good publicity, all that fun stuff. And D says, you all are not here to listen to me ramble on. How about we get on with the show? And as they go to step off the podium, one of the TV screens that was projecting them to the audience fizzles and goes black. Yeah. Uh, they're mumbling, but not quiet enough to not get picked up by the mic. Just, um, is that supposed... And then, out of nowhere, there is a scream. And then another and another from backstage. And out from backstage come many, many outfits on their own or on people, dragging those people as if puppets. And these people are like, I'm not doing this, as they're walking out. And from those clothes shoot threads. And those threads shoot out into the crowd and start grabbing people. And they also shoot out onto the stage to grab D. Eigner. Okay, cool. I'm Eagle is going to try to shoot some sunbeams to cut at the lasers that are trying to grab at Eigner. Oh boy, oh boy. So the heroes are instantly on the move for that. Okay. Question, where is Candy right now? Uh, close to the front of the stage. Uh, and speaking of, uh, I need you to roll me a grip candy. Boy, what? Shit. Roll me a grip. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Bitch don't got it. Yeah, your grip is not strong enough. One of the, uh, the outfits on one of the models. The model holds their arms out and out those threads, and they tangle all around and all over Itzots, and Itzots is dragged onto the stage, like, kicking and screaming. Just, ah, ah, Jenny, no, 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 ah! And, uh, Itzots is dragged away. Now, oh. you got two sixes, my dear friend, Golden Eagle. You manage to cut a good amount of the threads, you know, from some of the outfits. But the thing is, this was a big-ass fashion show. And even when you cut some threads, the outfits you cut threads from keep fighting. Uh, one model looks at you, and threads shoot out in your direction. So roll me either a move or a power. Power. Uh, I will Sandstorm, you are a hero, and everything has erupted into chaos. Is there anything you would like to do to try and stop the, essentially, as it was said in the chat, kill the kill ass shit that is happening here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I try to, um, I don't know, uh, try to grab the threads with my fan that I carry in my hourglass. Oh boy, okay. Try. Let's see if you can do that. That would be dexterity or grip. Oh, also, well, I should. Sorry. Uh, I... Can y'all hear me good? My connection says You're red. Okay. You sound fine. Yeah, you okay. sound fine. Uh, it's 
it's either a yeah it's either a dexterity or a grip roll uh justin do you know how to do the rolls with the uh, player chat i don't please explain so you do exclamation point roll and then a space and then you put the number of d6 dice that you are rolling so if you are doing are you doing dexterity or are you doing grip i'm doing a uh, dex okay so it would be and you know how the rolls work, right? You read the book. Uh, yeah, so um, your attributes is like the number you roll, number of dice. You What's add your... attribute to skill. So if it's dex, then you are adding speed to dexterity, and that's the number of dice that you roll. So in your case, that would be seven. Yep, so it would be exclamation point roll, seven, d6. I keep forgetting I should be oh. a little bit higher. F, okay. So wow. You... <laughs> wow, okay. Sometimes your dice don't like you. Yeah, sometimes the dice say no. Sometimes you fail a roll. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to let you know that your luck points can be used to re-roll a failed roll if you want to try. But uh, it's also recommended that you save luck points too. So that's up to you. All right, I'll, I'll save my luck points. Let it play right. out. Let it so play out. you send out your sand to try and grab these threads. They are slipping through it, even as you like, you know, hold real hard with it. Uh, they're slipping through those grains real good. Uh, it's not really doing much to help. And uh, neither of you are focused on the one thing you were here to protect, which is absolutely D. Eigner. Uh, Eigner is in the grasp of these threads and has been pulled backstage. Now, Harriman, you're in the crowd too, my baby boy. <laughs> and you were called here to, you know, keep an eye out for if anything like this happened. Boy, howdy, did it happen. Dear God. Oh no. I will oh, say that you see you see Golden Eagle on the stage, you know, trying to help with the management of this crisis. So, hey, there's a familiar face. Yeah, a familiar face. The one that he doesn't really like that much. But hey, at the very least, it's a familiar face and someone here, Jesus. Yep. Oh, by the way, I did my role to break out of the threads, so I have two sixes. Alrighty, so you do in fact break out of the threads that are shot at you, and when the, you know, clothing sees, quote unquote, this, it uh it just tries to flee. Okay, cool. I'm going to grab it and pull it to me. Give me that grip roll, baby. Yeah, I'm just gonna say Candy's me fucking pissed. I mean, I would be too. Uh, now, Lissa. Lissa, while this is all happening, I need you to roll me a grip. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What <laughs> again? You can't. Am I still super close to the stage? Oh. Uh, Candy, you are still close to the stage, yes. Because, uh, the, the clothes are coming from the stage, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I can't see where, like, eh? Hmm. I'll wait. Oh, that's a big boy uh, grip. Thank oh. God! Sibling rage! L Lissa, you see some threads shoot straight for Tim, and you grab him, and you do not let go. Trauma flashbacks and, uh, from I'm... last time. I'm gonna roll the opposing grip to see if they can pull him out of your grip. No! They almost do, but they really <laughs> can't. You are, you are a sister on a mission. You are holding Tim, and you're just like, no! And, like, you're so pissed that the clothes just back off and tim is like huh, huh, huh. oh god i'm tired of being the damsel in distress tim go back to the car 
take the no, keys. No, I can't. Car. Uh, could you? You want to drive? You want to drive? Take the keys. What? And Tim sees the keys and takes them. It's just like, I'm going to the car, and Tim runs. <laughs> He's oh. trying to get through that panicked crowd as best as he can. <sighs> so, Harriman and Candy, what would you like to do? Give me one moment, I'm eating a cookie. Well, well, Harriman, what would you like to do? Oh boy, so, this is kind of a panicked moment right now, because all of this is happening at once! Uh, I think... He'd try and well, let's see. Where is he near the stage? Like, is he? He's far enough away that to get on it, you'd have to roll a move. He's gonna make a move check then, because he's going to try to roll me that big boy move to get on stage. Um, Candy is fucking furious. Uh, he is scrambling to fucking climb that stage, and he is going to probably burn every single fucking piece of clothing there. But, you know, not actually. He's actually just trying to climb the stage. Alright, so you can... I'm gonna say you can do that because you were up front, and, like, most people are running away from the stage, so, like, you have a clear shot to just climb up onto it. Uh, you were on stage. Do you want to set clothing on fire? <laughs> Mm, uh, hmm. He's not going to keep do that mind. yet because there is an eat yeah, sauce somewhere mind, in there. Yeah, keep in mind a good chunk of it. Yeah, keep in mind a good chunk of the clothing is being worn by people or has a hold of people, so it's a little risky. Uh, yeah, he's not going to fucking do that shit. He's not that to... stupid. <laughs> Harriman, you managed to get through the crowd and climb onto the stage yourself, where you see Golden Eagle, Sandstorm, and Candy. Candy actually looks over for a quick second at Harriman and then, like, looks back and he's like, Wait! You! Ah! Uh, shit. You're, 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 um, Magic's friend. I know you. Huh? Oh, uh, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, you, Bunny Man. I know you. Uh, fuck. It's like, ha oh, wait. Okay. Okay, Little tiny so. dragon. Yeah, she's my uh, she's my housemate. Oh well, that's kind of the that's a coincidence, I guess. Uh oh, shoot! All these clothes. Okay, let me think. Uh, oh, uh, do you have any idea what we can do? I don't want to set fire to everything because I might hurt people, and I don't really want to do that right now. But holy shit, one of these people took my fucking friend, and I. <laughs> Well, where is your friend? <laughs> I don't know. Should I roll like? Yeah, he's out of sight. Heat sauce is out of sight. I'm gonna tell you without a oh, roll, okay. he's out of sight. Same with D. Eigner. Uh. <laughs> oh shit. Now, now, Lissa, your baby brother has you know run away. What are you doing? Um. Probably, honestly, just trying not to get grabbed herself. In that case, roll me some move checks, baby. Oh no, her move stat. It's stinky. F, okay. You get oh. grabbed by some clothing and dragged onto the stage, kicking and screaming. Lissa be like, I will not be put in a dress. Lissa <laughs> kicking, screaming on stage. You are dragged on stage. Uh, <laughs> Sandstorm, you see that th two civilians came on stage willingly. One is being dragged by one of the, uh, essentially like models it's being used as a puppet by sentient clothing and golden eagle just kind of like broke out of the grip of some threads what would you like to do
Uh, I mean, I, I don't know, but ask the, or try to get the civilians out of harm's way. You do have the speed for it. You could like try to run and grab them and get them off stage. Yeah, I'll run, grab them off stage to put them in a safe place. Oh god, fucking damn it! All right, I need you to roll me a move. And to anyone who doesn't want to be grabbed and taken off stage, you're gonna need to roll me either an opposing move or an opposing uh, power. Oh my uh, move it is then. <laughs> Watch this. Meanwhile, holy shit, Candy, you free. fucking. Oh, I thought I had to roll. <laughs> Never mind. No, you're now free. Uh, what would you like to do? Oh, you see Sandstorm trying to get these civilians out of the way, but uh, you do see that Lissa is, you know, being dragged onto the stage. Speaking of Lissa, oh how you God, doing? Sandstorm. Cool. I'll. What are the. Are they just like normal threads or are they like made of stuff? Like, that's not. They're... That uh do a recall if you want to know what they're made of baby okay well i'll go ahead and try to grab her and pull oh god uh right. fucking so while well, that's happening uh i can't believe <laughs> fucking about sandstorm is grabbing me legs. right yep yeah sandstorm got three three sixes so y'all y'all are kicking it screaming as you know, y'all are like grabbed by Sandstorm and he runs y'all off the stage. Okay, I am literally yelling at hey, him and I'm like, hey, 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 my friend is up there. Come on, come on. <laughs> I can take care of myself. God damn it, let go of me. It, it's gonna be all right. You can. I'll I mean, find not your friend. A regular civilian. Oh my he god. Him, I am. Gonna hit him with the oh. He's gonna hit him with the umbrella. He's gonna hit him with the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Candy is. Just... Candy okay, is okay. just okay. trying to squirm. <laughs> Harriman, please roll power. Uh, Sandstorm, <laughs> please roll move. Uh, he's, uh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna try and squirm my way out. Can I do that? Now, Dermis, you rolled that six to pull, uh, Lissa, right? Out of the grasp of the... Uh-huh. Uh, you do me Finn, what the fuck did you roll for? <laughs> Recall! You told me to roll for oh, recall! Oh, right, right, right. I wasn't sure. I was like, wait, okay, there's a lot of rolls going on. I'm sorry. So, you uh, you recall Tim going on about how, like, the threads that D. Eigner uses are, like, scientifically reinforced somehow in some weird way? And that, like, a lot of people commission superhero outfits from D. Eigner because of it? So, these are not normal threads. They are strong enough to withstand a good amount of shit. Uh... Meanwhile, while you recall that, you just suddenly feel the grip of Golden Eagle on your legs as he pulls you- Oh god, he's gonna hard fucking enough. dislocate my hip. He pulls <laughs> you out hard enough to get you out of the grip of the threads, though it does kind of sting a little bit being pulled. You aren't severely hurt. Uh, <laughs> goes to Defender, meanwhile, down off the stage. Uh, my dearest, my dearest Sandstorm manages to duck out of the way right as Harriman swings his umbrella at Sandstorm. So, uh, how are y'all three doing off the stage? Okay, can I- can- wait, am I still squirming in his grasp? Do I have to roll something to squirm out of his grasp? I think he- I think he set you down when he got you off the stage, right? Oh, he's, uh, well, Candy's fucking pissed and he's standing up and he's like, Oh, come on! Ah! God fucking damn it. I am- mm, I'm not gonna be just sitting here <laughs> He's trying to fucking go back. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Harriman, your umbrella just missed Sandstorm, so. Yeah, he's just like, like, first off, no, <laughs> I am not a regular civilian. I'm actually here for something, for something here. Second off, what? The actual hell? There are, okay. He, he's trying to calm himself down because he's just like, he just was about to go and like assess the situation try to figure out what they can do right now and then he gets dragged off the stage so he's clearly kind of like okay he's going to run back <laughs> yeah candy is running back as well because he's like god damn it i'm not fucking letting my goddamn friend be dragged away god damn it. Uh. y'all need to roll moves 
Sandstorm, you just saved two civilians and then they bitched you out for it. Are you gonna let them go back on stage this time, or what? <laughs> We're both fucking pissed. Well, oh no, they're already trying. Um, um, uh, I go get them again. What, what are they doing? You have to roll. Don't, don't be oh god, roll fucking move. damn it! Um, if he's fucking, if he's coming for me, I am literally going to fucking blast fire at him if he does. Let him roll his move and see if he succeeds. All right, so he's, uh, no, actually he doesn't, uh, because it goes to Defender. You try to grab them this time, Sandstorm, but they do manage to make it onto the stage before you can stop them. Uh, you end up running back on stage two, and while well, you see these two up there, uh, you also see that Golden Eagle has gotten that one hostage, Lissa, out of the grasp of those threads. Speaking of, Lissa, how you doing? Uh, Golden Eagle, how you doing? <laughs> All right, are you, are you okay? Feels like my fucking leg just got ripped out of its socket, but thanks, I guess. Well, be lucky your leg is still attached to you and not taken by crazy robotic mutant clothes. Or whatever they are. <laughs> Frankly, I don't care. Whatever they are, I'm probably just going to vaporize them anyway. Wait, so... Uh... Okay, question. How far away are we from them, and does can You can hear them. Okay. You can hear them. You're close oh, enough. At the very least, you can hear Eagle. Okay. Eagle isn't trying to be okay. solid. Well, Candy's gonna fucking yell back, and he's gonna be like, Oh, are you fucking kidding me? There are people in there. You're probably gonna vaporize them too, you goddamn idiot! Well, casualties and all of that. No, 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 no. We are not fucking doing that. God fucking damn it. You big fat fucking jerk. Okay. Oh Jesus, I thought I was a bit. Where the hell did they went? Where did they go? That's the problem. They went up on beyond the stage. Okay, then we need to go and see where the hell they went. Because this isn't gonna Way ahead of you there, rabbit soup. What the fuck? What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> Wow, that's a little fucked up, don't you think? They went backstage, right? Harris yep, and backstage. Is that where they went? Y'all way over. Yeah, are y'all all heading backstage? Yep. So backstage, yeah. uh, y'all all see. Uh, <laughs> it's significantly less chaos, actually. All the all the remaining models that are like still like most of the crowd has dispersed all the remaining models that are like under control of the stuff are like either on the stage up front or they aren't back here which is very weird it's actually shockingly empty uh, uh i don't over, like this what the fuck? over the sounds of the screaming out front, you can hear something out behind the stage, not backstage, but behind it. You can hear what sounds almost like a jet engine. What the? Okay, that's a little weird. Um, can I go and investigate that? You can. Cool, cause I'm gonna like. There is a there is a door in the backstage there. that leads. Yeah, there's a door in the backstage area that leads to like the like stairs that lead behind the stage. So you could go out there and check it. Okay, cool. because Candy is definitely bolting already. <laughs> oh my god, Eagle's gonna try to go out for. <laughs> Boy. All right, you want to see if you can get out there faster than Candy? Both y'all roll me. Shit. All right. <laughs> I'm glad that's because Eagle just got more in move, so he does have an even number now. What the fuck, Candy? Hmm. 
Y'all both beat him out. Y'all squish him. How mean. Y'all both, yeah. Harriman uh, and Eagle, y'all both are out that door, like, right before Candy makes it to it. And uh, what you see is a very odd-looking jet uh, just, just taking off. It is going up. It is making it into the sky. It is a very small jet. Small enough that it could manage to, like, be back here and then, whoop, get out of there. Is it too far away for me to basically just fly into the air and try to grab the thing from behind? It's in the air. You could try to fly after it if you want to, but, cool. I mean, <laughs> are you gonna? Yep, I'm gonna. Mmm. Mmm! Holy <laughs> shit! So he's like... Was that, was that a power? He yeah, fucking crashes that power. plane. I'm using one of I... my power shots, so I only have three left. I oh, you are firing power. at it! Uh, no, I'm grabbing it. Okay. I'm actually, well, I'm just exp I'm expending one of my powers to use... Okay, you're expending it. I'm using a non-violent superpower, is what I'm saying. Okay, I, I was like... I was like, this is supposed to be a move roll, but if you're using your power to, like, essentially substitute for a move, I'll let that happen. You shoot after this fucking jet. What do you do to it? Superman leap, and I'm basically going to try to grab the thing and drag it back down. I'm basically uh, supermanning this, so do I have to do another power? You do have to... Well, no, you got three successes. I'll say that you're managing yeah. it. But uh, I do need you to roll me a durability. Sure. Okie doke. Where is that durability? There you go. Because I keep forgetting he's a glass cannon. <laughs> Bitch. He's the, uh, the second you put your hands on that jet, you feel a shock go through your entire body. And it makes you drop it. <laughs> You go uh, plummeting down to earth, as it were. And with a kerthunk, I fall with a crater. <laughs> with a crater. Yep, a you make a. Yep, you make a small crater in the ground when you hit it. Uh, yep. I need you to roll me one d four. Yep. Uh, Candy's actually gonna run on over to, like, peek over the crater to see Mr. Golden Eagle there. Hey. You all right? Did you run after that thing? Did you... Oh well, we clearly didn't catch it, but you know. Did more than you did, you friggin' turkey. Turkey? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse oh. me, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god. I'm sorry that we don't have crazy superpowers like you, you know? Fucking shooting after a goddamn jet. I want... Uh, so, the only people outside right now who ran out when hearing the jet were... Harriman, Golden Eagle, and Candy. I want specifically Golden Eagle and Harriman to roll me an understand or a recall. Okay. <laughs> an understand or a recall? Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll do recall. Oh, this is Golden Eagle's worst stat. Because he's not that bright. Two okay. successes and understand. He's dumby. <laughs> Fortunately, Harriman is smart enough to make up for it. Now, you were too busy, kind of showing off, kind of just desperate to make sure this jet didn't get away, uh, to notice it. Harriman, you work with Shush. You know Fowl when you see it. That is definitely a, a toy of Fowl's, for sure. Well. Another case of foul. Foul? Oh, uh, huh. Oh, God. Candy, oh. you remember foul from the Pandora's painting. I oh, believe. yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, you mean, uh, fucking. Ah. Oh. Mm. Well, there's two bit comic book wannabes. Now. To those who are still inside the backstage area, which is Lissa and Sandstorm, y'all can investigate the backstage area. 
it is silent and peaceful enough that you could just investigate or look around, do anything. So go ham if you would like. I choose to investigate that back area. Then roll me that yeah, investigate, my sweet lad. Y'all dumb I as guess fuck. We just dumb. Huh? <laughs> Y'all dumb as fuck. Y'all don't buy shit. Uh, unless... <laughs> oh boy, unless you want to use a luck point. You know, I'm good. I have a feeling I'm gonna need them for Tim-related bullshit later on. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Oh. So... <laughs> uh, the people outside looking at, you know, the jet tape, you know, in the air. You hear a car horn honk. I need everyone out there to roll a move. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! I got it out. I got out of there real quick. Holy shit. What? Wait, what? Toast roll? <laughs> Toast roll? <laughs> what? How did- What? How did that happen? We're just oh, gonna enjoy the know. toast. Oh, Eat the toast. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> RNG, I guess. Uh, so, all of you fortunately get enough sixes to jump out of the way as a car speeds down after that jet. Uh, and Candy, you recognize the guy in the car as the guy who was in the car with that cat who, you know, <laughs> he saws his car. Oh, the little bitch. <laughs> oh, that little fucking speed. bitch. Okay, uh. You hear, is... you hear passing by the stage just a woohoo! Okay, is Lissa and, nearby? Uh, he's gone. Is Lissa nearby? Lissa's still backstage. She definitely heard the woohoo. Can I go and find fucking Lissa? I'm gonna fucking kill her. Can, can I go find <laughs> Lissa? Can <laughs> I can I just go, go find in, Lissa? Go in and talk to Lissa. Okay, go I'm in. going in. I'm finding Lissa and I found Lissa and I just go like, okay, so your uh I presume brother literally just fucking killed us. Uh what the fuck? <laughs> Which way did he go? Um, after that jet, which is that way, and they point to the direction of, like, where that went. So, outside, you know. Liz is making a beeline. <laughs> oh shit, Liz is going! <laughs> um. Okay. Out of all the fuck- okay. <laughs> Cause he nearly got right over- almost. That's- Holy crap, what was that? Uh... Now... <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> question for who? Okay, so, like... He thought his car is still, like, up in the fr oh, Shit. He probably- no, he probably- You can get Eatsots' car! God damn it. Yeah, but I can't fucking- <laughs> I'm gonna, like, roll- Okay, I'm gonna just- Go up to them. I'm gonna go up to, like, the others who are, like, outside right now and go, like, Hey, uh, can anybody drive? That's actually a good question. Can I hear him drive? <laughs> oh! I want anyone who isn't sure to roll probability. If you get a high number, Holy it's yes, shit. a low number, no. Okay. Hold I up. swear to God, I mean, if nobody in this fucking scenario, group can drive. I mean, worst case scenario, Lissa can drive. <laughs> if you guys can, you know, catch up to her. Can Sandstorm drive? Can Sweet Boy Terriers drive? Oh, to, be fair, uh -oh. Uh, to be fair, it makes sense why I wouldn't since technically... Okay, technically, holy shit, none of y'all can drive. Harriman and Sandstorm, neither of you can drive. But you have <laughs> Lissa, who can. <laughs> Golden Eagle also can uh... Lissa can drive, but she just went off ahead of you, so you might want to go catch up to her. Okay, I'm rolling move to catch up to her. 
All right. And the only reason why son of a fucking bitch, you know what? I'm lo I'm using a luck point. Fuck you. <laughs> if you say that, if you and say that to his fucking face, he's going to get angry. And the only reason why Harriman can't is because his feet can't reach the pedals. I'm not that short. <laughs> Motherfuck! But you're a bunny. I'm so pissed wow. at this thing. God damn it. Wow. Because I'm a bunny means that I'm short. Uh, short. I'm not that short. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> okay there, little creature, talking to God. So, uh, you do not manage to catch up to Lissa. She is g beelining it ahead. So, uh, she, <laughs> she, and if you try to talk to her, like, by calling out to her, she's ignoring you. She's just going after the fucking car with her, with her brother. Uh, while you are ahead doing that candy, both Harriman and Golden Eagle, your, uh, your zero unit communicators start beeping again. He answers it. He, he just answers it properly. <laughs> so, that was wow. a shit show. That was an absolute shit show, wasn't it? I think, I think uh, we all know that that was an absolute shit show. <laughs> did you find anything that could be useful in helping... Oh god, there's probably... Let me guess. Agna was kidnapped. I saw that much. You have no idea where they went. Nope. All we know that it's Falb and it's they have a jet. <laughs> hmm. Foul jet. Agna. Okay. I may have someone you could contact who might have any idea about where they'd go. The problem is, she only speaks to villains. Right. Well, I there isn't possibly anyone villain esque you could front to her. Is I don't know what's there? the bare what's the bare minimum of villain that he, she'll accept? Are we talking the um, costume kind or a car thief? A common street thug would do. He's kind of making a face because he's like, well, I could. Probably pretend because. Oh um, my god, you're an ex foul person, aren't you? Oh, of how, course, I probably, uh, sh I probably should have assumed that with the mustache. Okay, yes, yes, of course, but it, it's just not necessarily. <laughs> Would anyone in the party like to roll a recall or an understand to think if you know anyone who fits a okay. villain-esque description? By the way, Candy's coming back now, and he's like, ah, ah, she ran off. God fucking damn it. So, uh, uh, oof. You guys got anything? No. no. <laughs> well, we have exactly one idea, but it's going to require that one of us pretend to be someone of a seedier lot. I mean, I could do it. I could try. <laughs> I mean, that's lot. assuming they don't know that you've turned heel. Uh, that too. Wait. Okay, can I roll recall too? Honestly. Now that you have been given this information, you can roll understand or recall, yes. My stats are shit. Same with My Sandstorm. My stats are Sandstorm shit. Can also, Sandstorm is also out there with them and can hear this, so if Sandstorm wants to try and think of a, a villain-esque person. Um, I, um... Fucking god, all y'all. Yeah, all we have no brain cell. D does anyone else want to try? There's two people left who can try. Or you could use luck points. 
If only the actual street thug had stuck around, huh? Hmm, I wonder what I'm trying to make them roll for, Finn. <laughs> no takers? Okay. So you guys, despite having a literal person who looked like a street thug right there, and, you know, someone could try to go get her, uh, she's going ahead. Uh, you've lost her, and because she's not there, you don't have the, like, object permanence to think, oh yeah, Alyssa! So, you guys have to come up with another plan, because y'all <sighs> rolled bad. So y'all need some way to trick this person who only talks to villain. No, no, my bare Okay, minimum. uh, well, Gandy is kind of just having an <laughs> Not idea. unless I literally want to roll Cliff's recall. Cliff has a higher brain than I do, than Eagle does. I will let you roll Cliff's brain. Like, let if Golden Eagle wants to consult Cliff, like, what what do you think, brain fucking brainiac? What do you think? Okay, <laughs> and since he's bird brain, he gets seven. Oh my Holy God, Cliff shit! <laughs> Cliff <laughs> on the inside of Golden Eagle, screaming because all the people on the outside are like. Hmm, where will we find a common street thug? Listen, I just want to say Candy has no fucking brain cells. He just tried to ran, uh, run after her, could, okay? If you could just turn around and grab her... Oh, right. Right. The cat. Ugh, the friggin' cat. Okay. Right. And oh. he will just basically superhero fly bullets towards where she is. You're gonna need to roll a move to make it there fast enough that you can, like, actually catch her. Candy's just kind of sitting there as, uh, looking at Golden Eagle bolting and just like, No respect! <laughs> Jesus Christ! He's a sister on a mission, man. Alright, you make it to Lissa. You make yeah. it to Lissa. Who is still going, but you, you are keeping pace with her. Oh, uh, excuse me. Miss! Miss! What? Uh, I'm going to need your help with something. I kind of need uh, someone of your particular background. If you would just stop for a moment, please. She actually is going to slow down and stop at the irony of a superhero asking someone like her for help. Dorkocles, you run fast. Yeah, well, grow up with a brother like that, and you'll run fast, too. Okay, listen. We have an idea where they might have taken, or wh where... What happened with the people in the plane? The clone. But the contact, in particular, won't speak to anyone like me. But someone of your background might have a bit, uh, might have a bit better luck in doing so. Could I convince you to just put up a front, just so that we could get the information out of her? How's this gonna help me get my brother? Uh, God, I literally have the ear of two. I literally have the backing of two major corporations behind my back that could literally find your brother in an in I could literally call them right now to get the police to search for him and grab him for you. No, oh. no, not the police. That's going to freak him the fuck out. Well, do you want him freaked? Well, would you rather him be freaked out or alive? He is driving my car. If he sees the police going after him while he is still in that car, what do you think is going to happen? You know what? Screw it. Fine. I'll get your brat. I will get your brat if you agree. Okay. First off, don't call him a brat. Ever again. To my face. Second, who am I even supposed to be talking to? I don't, I don't know the person, but my contacts will... Probably tell me more of the details later. It's just someone, someone, it's a contact who's CD who only speaks to quote unquote villains. Apparently, her, this person's bare minimum is Street Thug, and you are literally the only person that barely fits that description. Oh, that was a little insulting. 
I'm kind of in a bit of a rush, dear. Excuse me for not exactly being tippy-toey about this. Do you want you me to what? get your you know brother what? or Fine, not? fine, fine. Shut up. Let's go. <laughs> All right. You Holy guys shit. back to the group. Uh, well, no. I mean, how far away is Timmy? <laughs> Would it be possible Tim is way to... ahead. No. Tim, is Tim was ahead. in a car. He's, He's long gone. gone. Yeah, Alice is just stubborn. Okay. So y'all would be better off going back to the group. Yep. All While right. you guys are heading back, Uno, Her uh, Uno is talking to you, Harriman. He's uh, explaining more about the situation. Just the woman's name is Sue. I um, know about her because of many, many contacts she's had with villains of all kinds, including foul agents. She, um, she's essentially a What's the word? What's the word? A counselor? A teacher? She can be almost like a secretary for villains. Someone who helps them be better villains. Not exactly my favorite kind of person, but she's so under the radar that it's, you know, hard to find her, and I'm not exactly the one with the authority to arrest anyone, so off she goes, continuing to get away with it. But hey, you know, good thing, because... I know for a fact she's had contact with Eigner and was foul. If there's anyone who knows about this, it's probably her. All right. Hmm. I think that makes a little sense. What was the person's name again? Sue. Sue. Okay. So hold on. Is everybody in the group hearing this? Or? Well, Golden Eagle and Lissa get back at the tail end of it. Oh, you're back. Oh, Do you have hey. a, an, a, a proper villain that you can use for this? I found a street thug. Does that count? That counts. Hello, I cannot see you, street thug. She's right here. He just points at her. He, she's like right next to him. This is a pin. I do not have eyes through this pin, Golden Eagle. I thought you literally had cameras everywhere. That's how you were literally able to judge me in my previous performance. Oh, those were cameras that were, you know, broadcasting the whole fashion show? I can hack into TVs. I can't exactly see out of, I don't know, Fine, thin yeah. air. Brittany just literally just he literally points the pin towards her. There, there she is, right there. Can you see through the pin? I, I do have tiny camera cameras. I do have tiny cameras, yes. Oh, of course you have tiny cameras. There, there she is. She'll do. Hello, ma'am. Uh, hi. So, you're the one whose brother took off like that, yes? At least from what I've been hearing. Context yeah. clues, something other... Yeah. Well, I regret to inform you he is now a hostage of Fowl. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mm. But? Oh, they saw a car tailing them. You think they're stupid? No, I think he's stupid. Ah, fair assessment. Now, I'm going to give you the address. Do you have a car that you could use? Not anymore. Hmm. Well, actually... Uh, well, I can't drive, but, uh, my friend who drove me here, I... Car, yeah. Um... Uh... Cool, get in that, and uh, let me do the navigation. Cool, cool. Uh, should I roll to see if, like, Candy does have the keys or not? <laughs> Just I'm gonna percent. say for convenience that you do, because I'm a merciful DM who okay. loves you. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, so my friend gave me the keys, so let's go. <laughs> <sighs> I just can't drive, so... It's up to Lissa to drive, but y'all get to to eat Sauce car. Does Golden Eagle fit? Or is he gonna follow from outside? We can stick him on the roof of the car. Here, get on the roof of the car. Let's go. Hold on tight. Um, I want to say the car, like, Wait, okay. has like how one of those of top windows. Know... How many of them know that he's about Cliff or anything? Uh, uh Lissa. Lissa was there and to Lissa. see. Yeah. 
Har yeah, Lissa and Harriman, though. Okay, so uh -oh. that's not enough people for him to justify transforming. Yeah, so, yeah S Sandstorm gonna... and uh, Candy have no idea. Okay, so he's just gonna follow them. He'll just fly behind them. Yeehaw. So, y'all get in the car, start driving, Uno gives off the directions, you know, all that fun stuff. And y'all make it to a seedier part of town. You know, brick buildings, all that fun stuff, roaches, woohoo. Can I roll to and, see if uh, Liss has been in this neighborhood? Oh, absolutely, you can. Am I rolling recall? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> mm. Damn it. If you've been in this part of Duckburg before, you were not there long enough for it to leave an impression. It's still pretty uh, unknown to you. Fortunately, Uno is directing the way. And you eventually make it to a seedy-looking office building. Huh. Friendly. Hmm. Fun. <sighs> Man. Y'all, uh, Uno essentially says, make your way inside, ask for Sue, and have her specifically ask for Sue. Good luck. And then Uno finally uh, ends communication. Great. Well, Eagle's, Eagle's literally not going to be able to go in there. Uh, yep. Well, well Eagle, luck. Yep, literally Eagle can't go in there. I'm going to say Candy's yeah, going to stay in the car to, like, you know, not, but also... Keep an eye on Eagle, probably. Tiny. Okay, fine. I'll. I'll say that Harriman could afford to go in yeah. if he wanted to. He, he's actually getting out right now. He's going to go. My Sandstorm, to you are still a fairly unknown hero, but you're known enough as a hero that if you went in, you'd probably get in trouble. Yeah, it, it's for the best. So Harriman and Lissa. Quite the duo. Okay. Welcome to the office building. <laughs> All right. So you ask for Sue, and then we give information, and then we leave. All right. Simple as that. <laughs> Sounds simple. Well. All right. So, so who's in this building for her to ask? There is, uh, you know, along the sides of the wall, there's these seats for people to wait. Nobody's sitting in them. And there is a front desk with a couple doors at either side of it. And um, at that desk, there is a very bored looking uh, rat who's just kind of reading a book. Liz is going to walk up to the desk. The rat looks disinterestedly up at Lissa and is just like, What do you want? I need to speak to Sue. Of course you do. Every stupid two-bit villain in this town needs to talk to Sue. And uh, the rat shuts the book and pulls out her phone and makes a quick call. And then after making that call, she just kind of Closes the phone and is like, door on the left. You're a plus one coming too. Yep. Oh yeah, he needs the help. Oh, oh, I should have guessed from the mustache. Yeah, he does need the help. Get in there. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, rude. He is rude. He kind of just like throws us a little bit. He's just sort of like, just like, 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 bitch, this is a class. <laughs> it is. So he's just like, oh, what? Okay, whatever. He's just gonna, like, pull the mustache a little bit as he walks along. 
Because he's just a little faded. So no classic retro in AC. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys go through the door, and you go down a hallway that leads to another office door, and you hear through the door just, Come in slowly. This is gonna comply. <laughs> when you go through the door, uh, you see this woman sitting behind a desk, and she is on a phone call, so she holds up like a finger to you, like to motion, you know, be quiet for a moment. And you can hear her on the call, just like, <sighs> Did you try not announcing when you were going to attack Darkwing? And there's like a moment of silence as she gets a response on the other end of the phone and she's like you see that might help you get the drop on him that really might um and by might i mean it will i'm telling you darkwing duck has the brain of a cement mixer you can easily outsmart him just try being a little more sut and she's like cut off by yelling on the other end and she's like sir you're the one who hired me i'm very tired of this goodbye and she hangs up and she looks at you too and she's like have a seat and Liz is gonna take a seat herman takes a second before actually <laughs> taking a seat <laughs> i'm going to roll something very quick Oh lord. Oh lord. <laughs> Harriman, she knows who you are. Yeah! I can't! <laughs> that was a trade of. Oh god. All right. Well, uh -oh. uh -oh. Harriman, these last bullets for you, you're gonna need it. <laughs> He's been making this face, like, oh, wait a minute. Sweet. Oh, wait. I was famous back in the day. Shit. <laughs> So, you're, um, you're either here to get help to get back into the villain game, or you're here on some shush business, and I'm telling you what I told the last shush agent who snuck their way in here, I have client confidentiality. I cannot tell you anything. I will not tell you anything. She looks at Lissa, and she's kind of taken aback a moment by Lissa, and is like, who are you? You probably don't know me yet. You probably won't. My name is I'm literally only here because I got roped into some bullshit trying to get my little brother back. Ah, uh, a shame. I would have liked to get to know you more. And um, she, you know, glances at her phone, at the papers on her desk, and she just leans her hands on her desk and just goes, what do you want from me? Well, Harriman looks like he's about to speak, but then he looks at uh, Lisa because he feels like he doesn't really. He sh he's not too sure if he should speak right now, actually. Cause go on, you're a grown adult. I mean, aren't you the one who? <laughs> okay, you know what? Fuck. I was the one roped into this. You're the one that needs the information. Okay, simply put, there was an incident at the fashion store. Probably sure a lot of people have seen that. Clothing coming alive and all this other stuff. Uh, took, um, D. Eigner and a bunch of- Oh, I know everything about that. Oh, really now? <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm going to tell you. Look, I don't do things for free. I either get paid or I get something else out of it. She uh, glances at Lissa as she says that, but it's very subtle. Every villain's got their price. Can I roll to see if Lissa notices that? 
You can roll me an understand or an investigate. No, you do not Lissa. notice her subtle glance at Lissa as she says that there's other payments. Now, <laughs> she just kind of pinches the bridge of her snout and is like, look, you either came in here to waste my time or you came in here to get results. Most people come in here to waste my time. I'd really prefer if you came here to get results. You want to know, and she thinks, who's responsible, or where they're going. I kind of would prefer to know both, but considering the things of prices, he's not too sure. We prefer to probably know where they're going at the very least, if- We already have a kind of idea of who it was, or at least they seem to know already. We just need to know where the fuck they went. Hmm. All right. She thinks for a moment. It takes a high price to get me to break client confidentiality. Or a very good emergency reason to do it. So, I'm waiting on either $300 up front to start or a good reason. <laughs> would, would I need to roll to see if I have the appropriate funds? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you straight up, I doubt anyone in that building has the appropriate uh, one. No. <laughs> I mean, unless Golden Eagle wanted to call a favor. I just wait. I am so why sorry. Didn't, need, why didn't Golden Eagle just say Mark Beekson? Oh. Mm. Beeks counts as a villain. Not to the public. Not to the public. Okay. However, you're on a good track. She uh, she looks you over and she's like, I'm gonna assume neither of you came here with that kind of money on hand. But look, if you have someone who you want to go out and call who could like give you the money, I'll let you do that. Just one of you, I don't know. I think I'm All right, someone. well, Laura's gonna get up. No, <laughs> uh, not Laura, Lissa. Ah! I'm... It's okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna hang up now. <laughs> Lissa's gonna go back outside. Did you get anything? But, before you leave, she's like, but I want you to come back with whoever it is you're getting the money from so I can see who it is. Uh, okay. Oh. Christ. Oh. Candy's kind of just sitting in the car, you know, with uh, Golden and um, Sandstorm, and he's just kind of looking at Sandstorm. She's like, so, uh, how are you? Think I'm good. Things are good. How are you? Um, pretty shitty, to be honest. Uh, I wasted money on, you know, that fashion show that, as you see, went horribly, and now my friend is in there, and I am freaking out on the inside. But you know what? It's it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Everything is uh, going to be fine, hopefully. Hmm. Uh, what did I get? Taking them all so long. Hmm. Also, probably ran into some wow, trouble. This thing really, really big cramp. This... <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Honey, there is a window up above. Uh, I could just open it for you, and like Candy does, kind of open like the ceiling window. <laughs> cool. Uh. I would pop my head out there, but I don't think my presence would be welcomed in this neighborhood. Fair enough. Well, I'll just keep it open for air. Well, at least there's a breeze. 
Felicia is gonna walk up to the car and knock on the window. Candy rolls down the window. Uh... You get anything? No, we need three hundred dollars. Um, well... Hmm, <gasps> I don't think I, I have that kind them. of money. Um... Lissa looks pointedly at Golden Eagle. <laughs> well, I suppose I would have the funds. Uh... Great, right, well, uh, you so you can it, help us. Here's what you're gonna need to do. Okay. If you have the money on you, give it to one of them, because if you come into this building with me, which they're asking for someone to come back with me, you're gonna get your ass shot. And I'm not dealing with that today. Don't tell me I have to turn into him, do I? No, I'm saying, if you were uh... listening, if you have the money on you, give it I to can... one of these two. Do you want to roll probability to see if you have the money on you? Sure. Let's see if I Holy actually shit. have the money on me, or if I need to ask someone to wire it. Well, Candy does have his cell phone on him, so... Uh, Eagle literally has a communicator. Oh! Eagle be like, I got that bling bling, I got that cha-ching, I'm here. He's that much of like an asshole that he's just like, I got money on me all times, every day. Actually, hold on, let me just... Oh, it's a good thing my cape actually has pockets. <sighs> Whoa, okay. Here we go, 300 big ones. You carry that with you? Oh my god. This is only but a small part of it. Okay, Candy's just like... Okay, whatever. Uh, hand it over. Uh, Sandstorm, you take care of him. I don't want you to get hurt either in this part of town. Keep the doors locked. Keep the windows up. Do not open the door. Uh, All right. Keep listening to his favorite music. <laughs> the windows are down. It's, it, the AC's on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Candy face bombs and then he goes like, ah, okay, whatever. And he steps out of the car and he's just like, all right, we're two. All right, let's go. And Liz is going to walk back into the building with Candy. All right, now, so you guys walk back to the you, office? When she asks you, <laughs> this is <laughs> your <laughs> money. <laughs> so, I, uh, I forgot to do a roll earlier. Now, I want Lissa and Harriman uh -oh. to roll for me. Investigate. Okay. <laughs> Why? What? Wait a um, minute. Um, that doesn't. It's that doesn't. Excuse me. Am I? Wait a minute. What, what the what fuck? Happened? Uh, it just makes so both of y'all in. Role. <laughs> that's Dorky's roll. Let's see Finn's. Okay. Wait, it says, it says that it's Finn's roll, though. So yeah, but, but it Finn has 3d6, four. which is yours. Finn's is 4d6. Okay. That's okay, so easy. neither- wow. Okay, so- um, I will tell you what that roll was for in a second. So, Lissa, Candy, you're heading back to the office. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, Candy? I'm tempted to use a plus point. Yes. If she asks you whose money this is, I doubt she will. This is yours. Do you understand me? She does not need to know who this uh, came from. Yeah, it's cool. Yours. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't want to get shot, so yeah. Okay. And into the office. Yep. So you guys walk in. Uh, Susie's candy and raises an eyebrow and is just like, hmm. You have the upfront payment? Yeah, here it is. And he, like, pulls out the money and hands it to them. Keep it. I want something else. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. She, uh, <sighs> she looks at Lissa. You had no idea the seat that you sat down on was bugged. Check your back. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I heard everything. Harriman is also not checking his fucking 
Why can't they go on like, are you fucking here? kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? God fucking damn it. Golden Eagle, huh? I know exactly what I want. I want him in here, but I want the assurance that he will not make any attacks on anyone in this building. Oh, you know what? Uh, sure, uh, but... Lucy's um, gonna turn back around and go outside. She's very tired of this already. <laughs> Candy, Candy's just like, you know what? Fine. Uh, I'll make sure. I'll make sure personally he doesn't attack. Because if he does something, Fine. I'll burn him. Good. Just keep the fire out of my office if you can manage. Sure, sure. You have a lovely office, by the way. Did, oh, did thank you. Did you find the bug? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a tiny bug on your back from just <gasps> sitting on the seat. It cl it clung to your back. Oh. Literally the size of a tick. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so Lissa goes back out. He's <laughs> so mad. She makes a gesture at the car to open the door. Uh... Is... And now she's okay. gonna bang on the window because they're clearly not paying attention. Okay, okay. Yes. Both of you, let's go inside. Why both of okay. No, the jig is up, let's go. Well they don't they don't we don't the book not both of the gears. They only said Golden Eagle would go in. Then anyways, Golden Eagle gets out of the car and he follows you. Sandstorm, watch the car. Sandstorm, chilling with his music. I, I swear to fucking god. It's all good. <laughs> and Lissa just kind of power walks back into the building. Mm. Tiny <laughs> Can, Can I just say? Can I just say that Harriman is like, do you do this to all of your clients? Of course I do. Information is a business. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh god. Um. Hi. Sue looks up at Golden Eagle and just says, Close the door behind you. He closes the door behind him. <laughs> you want this information. The question is, how badly? She gets up. I would have to break my own client confidentiality to give this information to you, so I want something big in return. She goes up to Golden Eagle and she holds out. What looks to be a tiny USB. Okay, and what am I supposed to do with this? You are an inside to Waddle. I want you to bug one of the Waddle computers with this. Oh! Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, that is... That is a big price you are asking of me. And I will know if you've done it. It will notify me when it has been done. If you don't get it done within the next week, there will be consequences. <laughs> That's uh, quite the big threat. But... Fine. So long as this doesn't come back to... It won't. They'll have no idea who did this, or what it's doing, or why it's doing it. I just need you to do it for me. Fine. Hand it over. Alright. He hands the USB- he grabs the USB drive and puts it in his, uh, cloak pocket. Don't lose it. If you do, I will personally see to it. That your little spine gets broken. She uh, goes back to sit at her desk. Now, you want information, I have it. So, maybe write this down or something so you don't forget. Uh, Candy has taken out his cell phone to write notes. All right. D. Eigner was once one of Fowl's greatest. They were responsible for designing much of their armor, their outfits, everything, and they have a small business on the black market creating super suits for villains, just as much as they make super suits for heroes. Mm, they recently wanted to get out of the business with Fowl. They made a big show of leaving Fowl in a huff, but Fowl does not let people leave easily. 
Thus, they set this up using technology that D. Eigner themselves made to help their interesting choice of prosthetics move. Nano machines, tiny, inside the clothing, hacked by Fowl's own. Now the question is, where is Eigner now? The answer, and she looks directly at Candy and gives the address. Okay. 52 Avian Road. It is a normal, unsuspecting house in the residential district. You will, when you knock on the door, see a friendly housewife, presumably, and she will ask you for a code. I need you to write that down too. She will say, oh, the dinner party isn't until eight. And you will say, oh, but seven is a much nicer time. And I brought pie. What a code. When they are given that code, they will assume that whoever has given it, so long as they don't look like a hero, is the disguised handler that will be given to Eigner and whatever other hostages there are to be taken to the hangar with Fowl's other jet to be taken directly to HQ. That jet is going to be arriving at 9 p.m. sharp. It will have a 15 minute window and then it will leave with or without anyone in it. However, if it returns without anyone in it, there will be consequences. And I need you to know this up front. You are getting into trouble by saving these people. Hmm, fun. So, that's all you need. Anything else I can do? Well, that's all good, but there is one thing I am sort of confused about. Say usually, it. usually when Fowl is disappointed with someone under their employment, they usually do try to much make a much bigger show of it, a much more gruesome show of it. How do we? They know don't that... want to kill. We. They do not want to. Oops, they want to force them back. Usually that's not the way they work. They usually just go straight for the murdering them. Yes, but Eigner has a very good brain with a lot of valuable information still inside of it. They want to use it to its very last drop before they dispose of them. Mm. I know this myself because I was asked to help set up the plan that would make this all go smoothly. Mm. I was contacted sure. by a foul agent named Venomania. Sure, oh. you were paid very handsomely for it. Oh, absolutely. All right, that's all I needed to know. And uh, I'll be sure to put your little computer gizmo into Waddle's computer. I don't know if you need it to be his personal computer. That's going to be a bit more harder to get, but I can get it into no, one of the servers. No, no. Absolutely the servers. The servers is fine. I do not need his personal computer. If you could swing that, well, I'd owe you. But, for the time being, just the servers is fine. Will do. You all good? Good. You're crowding my office. Get out. Great, thank you. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> she does spare a glance at Lissa one last time, just like, hmm. Oh, and uh, I like your dress, miss. And, like, uh, Candy just leaves shutting the door behind him. You all now have the exact way you need to go to save D. Eigner and any other hostages gotten from the event. Great. Right. Fun. We ready for this? Oh, I'm more ready than I need to be at the moment, so... Oh, I forgot to say we're at like 1 hour 54 right now, so... Right.
Yep. Like Which time. means it's break time. You guys get in the car, go on your way, and that's the break. <laughs> cool. Right. I'm gonna pause. Oh, I have to say, fucking moment. You were like, all right. Unpause. So, y'all, uh, I think it's a 52 Avian Road. Y'all make it there to this house. It's painted a pastel pink, and it has a white roof and these little cute rose bushes up front. It is sickeningly adorable. Oh, that's disgusting. Wow. Kenny's just really looking at like this, this a little bit hor horrible, and he's like, wow, they said unsuspecting? This is the opposite of that. Well, you'll notice that all the other houses in this little neighborhood are just as cookie-cutter cute. I stand corrected. Never mind. Wow, oh, But really it is cute, it. I have to admit. Huh. This looks like something on Lisa Frank painting vomited all over. Hey! Shut up. It's cute. Okay, this is disgusting. Let's move on, get this <sighs> done as quick as possible. Whatever. How are we gonna do this? Cause... <laughs> Um, yeah, Golden actually, Eagle what? Pissing, man. <laughs> what is our game plan? Uh, anyone? The sandstorm. Well, I can't exactly Anybody? knock on the door. Yeah, Candy, you'd fit in in this yeah. neighborhood. Go knock on uh, that door. Uh, okay, fine. Jesus Christ. <sighs> if I'm getting my ass beat, you better you better fucking help me. Yeah, I have like oh. one bullet. So fine, fine. I'll be sure to back you up. Alrighty, okay. Candy gets out of the car, and he heads up to the door, and uh. After a moment, the door opens, and you see a duck with this nice, cute hairstyle. Uh, you know, this curly hair. Uh, you know, a necklace of pearls. She looks like a perfect little housewife from the older type of generation. And she says, Oh, you're here early. The dinner party is until eight. Oh, but seven is a much nicer time. And I've brought pie. She looks you over, nods a bit, and she says, Come in. And she steps aside for you. Candy, Candy heads inside. <laughs> She shuts the door behind you, and you can see into the living room from here. You can see three people tied up. You see D. Eichner. You see Tim. And you see Itzatz. <laughs> Candy trying not to lose his shit right now, but he's like, mm, okay. <sighs> Itzatz has been gagged as well as, you know, tied up thoroughly with what looks to be some kind of special rope that clearly cannot be broken through with his powers. So he's stuck as he is, you know, muzzled and all that, but his eyes widen when he sees you. Okay, he's kind of just looking at him, but he's like, mm. you know, kind of like shaking his head a little bit, like, keep quiet, keep quiet. <laughs> Roll sneak. Oh God, oh God. Is that my garbage? Who? Oh! <laughs> you managed to do it covertly enough that the lady in front of you doesn't notice anything. She uh, she says, "Oh dear, dinner might be running a little late. I'm going to go into the kitchen." And she goes ahead and motions for you to wait in the living room. Okay. Uh, After a moment, someone else steps into the living room. Okay. <laughs> you see, she looks to be a wolf, from what you can gather. Uh, a wolf with a robotic tail. Candy sweating profusely, like... Hmm. She looks you over and she's like, so, you're the handler? 
Uh, yeah. Yes, I am. She goes to the window, opens the blinds to glance out at the car. I need everyone who's at the car to roll some form of sneak. Y'all need okay. to roll sneak. So that oh, y'all god get fucking seen. damn. Oh, no. oh god damn it. <laughs> god, god fucking damn it. God damn fucking it. damn it. God fucking damn it. Y'all. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Am I going to have to roll charm for something? <laughs> oh god. Golden eagle. <laughs> y'all dug <Yeah>. it at <laughs> Oh! Hey man! Holy shit! Thank you, Sandstorm. Sand Thank you, Sandstorm. We in this together. Oh, oh shit! Wait a minute, Lisa actually me, succeeded. Baby. Oh my god, y'all actually succeeded except okay, for we, Eagle. We, we, Golden Eagle we, fucking we, sucks, dude. Okay, what about? <laughs> but you guys got two successes. You could probably pull them down. You could probably pull them down. Y'all gotta use your success. Uh, <laughs> you might want to use those luck points. Well, okay, okay, because we can use our successes to help. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have, um, Herman go and like probably like Golden Eagle's head pretend to be like the, like how a pizza truck has like a mascot's head on top. Just have him. <laughs> Golden Eagle pizza. <laughs> glances out the window and sees nothing out of the ordinary because y'all pull it off she just sees the car and she's like i'm assuming that's the getaway car yes it is pardon uh for its tackiness but it's all i could get tacky's fine as long as it doesn't draw attention and she closes the blinds and um she calls out to the kitchen just <sighs> agent Shelbeek. Give them a pep talk before they go. Sweat! And out, <laughs> and out from the kitchen steps Jovi. Candy. He locks eyes with you, Candy. Oh. <laughs> and he yeah. smiles, this very smug little smile, and he's like, oh, well, ain't that a surprise. It's nice to see you again. Candy's just eyeing him, and he's like, Yeah, nice to see you too, uh, old friend. Hmm. <laughs> he's kind of like, you can see he's weighing his options here. He's like, do I rat you out, or do I let you go free so you owe me later? Like, you can tell the, the numbers are running in his head. He might be a new employee of Fowl to a degree, but that doesn't make him a loyal one. He's just like, hmm, yeah. You know, you still owe me a, uh, another trip to the bowling alley. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, when this mission's done, I'll see you there. Cool. And you are now being given the chance to take these three out to the car to escort them with the help of Chillbeak. Cool. Venomania just motions like, all right, all right, get them out of here. And Chillbeak's like, yes, Agent Venomania, of course. And he's, you know, holding his gun out to scoot the hostages along outside. And Alongside then... you, Candy. Cool. <laughs> Once you guys are outside, Chilbeek is just grinning this very smug grin at you. Yes, yes, yes. I owe you. Thank you. Oh, Christ. big time. Oh, yeah. Sure. <sighs> like I said, bowling alley. And, you know. Okay, are you, are you serious? You are you actually serious? In. Oh, my God. Ugh. Guess I'm taking a trip to the bowling alley tonight. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> chill beak once the hostages are secure in your car heads inside and he, he gives you one last glance and god his smug face is driving you insane but he goes in <laughs> was that who i thought yes it was don't talk about it what is he okay you know what you, well he is a super villain after all you know i'm not surprised but at the same time i am but whatever anyways let's go is now you could untie them or like you know uh, get the muzzle off of at yeah, least yeah you know and... okay, i forgot about okay. i thought I, okay i assumed i assumed by the time like they got into the car candy had already right. done that and it's just pissed let's, okay. uh, well let's just drive out a bit of a ways first before we start into that yeah all right let's just go let's just go onward lissa uh don't worry, I'll just untie you in a bit. I'm sorry. Alright, so you guys drive a bit away. And, um... See, the fun thing is that Mr. Eigner, uh, they they seem to be out of it. They're just, like, kind of half asleep, almost. Uh, Itzots and Tim are wide awake, though. And Tim has been kind of... All right, uh, I oh, think we let's can go give ahead. Finn a second. <laughs> All right. Pray for Finn. Pray for Finn. For Finn. Oh no, I'm imagining they gagged Tim too. I just didn't say it. I mean, who would let Tim keep talking? Exactly. Candy be like, no one, no one gags my boyfriend. Wait. Shit. Fucking hell! I'm going to punch that lady when I see her. <laughs> Dear God. Hello, the All Father. Are you here? Yes, Brick. Finn. It's me. Yay, Finn's here. All right, so your your mic's good. Okay. So, uh, y'all, as you're driving, you ungag all three of them. Though Eigner is kind of sleeping, and <laughs> eats us. It's just like, what the fuck did you just pull off? I don't know. But you know what? I saved your ass, so whatever. It worked. It worked. Okay. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, they were gonna, they were gonna take me to some some evil villain base. I don't. Uh, uh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tim is just like, I almost had him. I almost had him. I'm sure you did. And they probably have my car, don't they? No, they left it in the road. They pulled me out of the car. Oh, great. And I'm assuming you don't know the name of the road. No. Tim, roll recall. Oh, <laughs> fucking god, Tim. <laughs> Tim no, it's, it's probably in the Duckburg impound lot or something. Just, just pray that Great, the so I'm, I'm not getting it back. It apart. Well, look, you just have to hope that the Beagles didn't get a hold of it and tear it apart. So great, they're not getting it back. Uh, not Tim is cringing into his skin and just kind of like <laughs> shrinking into himself. Like, <laughs> Insats is just like, oh my gosh, I wait. Um, we need to, we need to stop the car. Uh, what for? We need to get the guy, the what, Eigner, out of here. All right, then why are we stopping? Because they have a tracking device. Uh oh. Oh crud. Oh, oh shit, 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 for that shit. Beforehand. All right, you know what? Um, I need to yeah. remember not to check for bugs. That's a problem. 
Oh, wow, you would oh, think God. the experienced spy would be aware of this sort of thing. Listen, it's been a while. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. All right. Uh, well, it's probably another tick. Come on, just let me... And the Eagle is basically now just searching around... Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fashion Kitty. D. Eigner. They are Eigner. they are out of it. They're like half asleep, like uh, not even responding yep. as he's as they're being so like. What have I got to? What have I got to roll to check for bugs on Eigner? Uh, I'm gonna tell you up front. You can't find shit. Oh. Okay. Okay. But everyone I... can't find shit, right? Ew. Nobody oh. can find shit. Oh, don't tell me it's inside him. It is inside them. Maybe that's why they're falling asleep. They really did have a pie in that little house. They made them eat it. It's a drug pie with a tracker. Okay. Yep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I... Uh, eat thoughts. Eat thoughts. Uh, you don't happen to have a tracker on you too, do you? They didn't bother with us. We're just, I don't know, extra a bonus. We're not the people they were after. They were after them, so they only bothered to track them. I guess they didn't. Figure they'd mind if they lost a couple of stupid hostages. Okay, okay well, then so... I guess we're going to have to make them vomit it up. That's All right. Disgusting, um, but... Oh, God. This is going to punch him in the stomach. What? Oh, oh shit! Roll power. Roll power. Well, I was just going to suggest to supermodel it and just stick a finger down, down their throat. That's still disgusting. <laughs> Oh my god. But, like, Liz is not telling anyone that they're punching them. So. Okay. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cut me a fucking You better get. not barf in the car. Oh um, no, it's happening in the car. She. Open a window. Before anyone can stop her, she reaches through <laughs> out into the back. Oh no, no, what are you doing? Slams her fist into Iger's stomach. <laughs> Christ! Hack. Christ! They hack out what is essentially like a hairball. Oh, that is so disgusting. Oh, that is disgust. Oh, uh, nasty. Well, well that a full tree. Liz is gonna pick up the hairball to see if that's the tracker, or like if it's anywhere in the hairball. It's fucking disgusting. But go ahead. Listen, it's a fucking tracker. Well, it has something beeping in it. So all right, well, out the window it goes. I mean, Y'all still driving? Yep. Eigner wakes up at the impact. He's like, Whoa. oh my god. Uh, sorry. Oh. But sorry, we just you... had a... Uh... You it's fine, a it's fine. A... You it's fine, I know. Tracking pie. I know. They had guns to my head. I remember eating the stupid pie. Oh, it wasn't even a good flavor. Couldn't have been, I don't know, pumpkin? Good God. What, what was the flavor? <sighs> Apple. Um. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I understand your pain, buddy. Eigner. What's wrong with us? Shoots up. Oh, was it like with the crumbs or like the, just the regular pie crust? <laughs> it was with some store-bought crust. I have a refined palate. <sighs> they are Oh, that stressed. is so nasty. Um. You're welcome, by the way. Yes, thank you for punching me in the stomach. I adore it. Anyway, they sit up and they're like, <sighs> So, you guys somehow managed to pull off a great switcheroo? No, we just kind of took everybody out. Wait, you didn't... <clears throat> oh, God. Uh... Isn't there supposed to be something... Uh, like... Was there? I'm sorry. Y'all just I'm told me to. Sure huh? We. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Huh huh. They're expecting something to come to the jet. So if there's nothing coming to that jet, then they they really thought I was the de they really thought I was the deliverer guy. Oh god. Oh no. Part of it, that's good. We still <laughs> kinda need it. Did they see what? all of your faces or just you? Just me. Then you're the only one in danger here. Oh Christ. Alright, well it was nice knowing you. Thanks for helping me get my brother back. 
Hey, no, I'll oh. remember you fondly at Thanksgiving dinner. I'm not gonna not fucking gonna... die. Fuck that. <laughs> hey, you don't know that. Oh my god. No, but I can okay. sure punch whoever the fuck is coming after me. Yeah, try using a punch against a bullet to see how well that works for you. Eat Sauce kind of chimes in just, we could always, I don't know, stage a carjacking? You know what, that's actually not too bad of an idea. Hmm. Uh... But knowing that I am an incompetent fool, great, they're still gonna be after my head, so. Well, what if they think you're already dead? I don't like the way how you're going with that already. What are you but... implying? Look, I'm We're just saying we can step out of the car, take off little bits and pieces of our clothing, and then I could just vaporize the car. Oh, God. Hmm. You have a surprisingly larger amount of brains than I expected you to. Okay. Golden Eagle out. Joke out. Uh, Candy is taking slowly the insurance information from the car and is just like, yeah, eat sauce, you better hang on to this. Uh, let it, let us hope that it, your Friend job your handles car. this. Friends, don't worry about it. Waddle Industries will pay for your costs. I can ask a favor of them. I can just say it's collateral damage. They're willing to pay for it. Yitzots is just taking, like, the insurance information, just like, oh, okay, goodbye, car. Oh, God, what am I going to tell Mom? All right, well, everyone, to uh, make I'll tell her it's my fault. Eagle rips off a bit of his cape. <laughs> well, and actually, we just need you. Actually, we just need you to be dead. So, sorry, friend. Wait, he what? grabs Candy's arm, ah! rips off a sleeve of his shirt. Oh, God fucking damn it! Oh, you could have just asked! I uh, think you'd appreciate this being done quickly. So you could have just taken off the, the ascot off my neck, you fucking idiot. I could have, but... <laughs> uh, strangely, that felt more satisfying. Candy flips <sighs> a middle finger at him. <laughs> Alright, you better appreciate this, because I'm using a round. Time to vaporize the car! <laughs> Everyone's out, and you vaporize the car to leave just a mess there. <laughs> and to be fair, Finn, he's not willing to pay for the car because he's nice. He's willing to pay for the car so that it doesn't lead back to him, or that he hears a complaint. Uh, he ain't doing it out of the goodness of his heart. Bravo, Golden it's... Eagle. You saved uh, several people and killed me. Great. And me, presumably. Since they're the one that they want, I'm going to be the one they care about. They, uh, they rip off one of their scarves and just kind of toss it in the wreckage like there. Wonderful. <sighs> Now, was that out of the what? And Eigner stops. Oh, they lean down and put their scarf back on. And then they look at all of you. And then they look at Golden Eagle. Golden Eagle, I need you to roll a move. Oh, god oh, fucking damn it. Some mind control ass shit? Fucking goddamn. Nope. He did not move out of that out of the way in time. Alright, I'll take it. Hello? Yep. One of those clawed hands just shoots out to slash your face. Whoa! Whoa! 
Um, okay. Christ! Roll me a d4 for damage, and everyone else, roll a d20 for initiative! <laughs> Mm. Oh, <laughs> so he's at 11. Okay. And a d20. Well, either that or he's betraying. Which I doubt because that would be a huge, weirdly convoluted thing. Double, double cross. Either way, Candy knows he's McFucking pissed. Listen, he paid money for this show. It went horribly wrong. His crush got kidnapped. And now one of his favorite jackets is ruined by Golden Eagle. So, and now... A fashion designer that he actually looked up to is now attacking him. Great! Hey, you know what they say about never meeting your heroes. <laughs> that, my friends, is the turn order. <laughs> Christ almighty. This says Chili's. Hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> Candy, what would you like to do? Okay, so first of all, um, Eigner is just there now, and he's just kind of attacking and stuff. They cool. are attacking, yes. Okay, they, sorry. Um, is it their own choice of attacking, or are they just mind controlled or something? Well, you'd have to roll to find out. Mm. Uh, would that be an understand? Yes. Oh, Candy, your brain cells- <laughs> Or an investigate. Or an investigate. Investigate or Either way, either way, his brain cells. Holy shit! Bra moment. Okay. <laughs> so, you know instantly just from the way that their body's hanging, that it's- clearly an unconscious thing that is happening but it's not like the models who were like being puppeteered by the clothing in any way shape or form because they were still conscious and aware of what was happening they just couldn't stop their clothes from moving their bodies this they are through the goggles you can see the eyes look kind of just unresponsive okay uh so Candy is going to relay this back to everyone else, and he's like, okay, well, um, he is, uh, being mind-controlled or fucking something, because that is not him. The, his eyes are, like, dead right now. So what you're saying is we gotta kill him. No! We do not have to kill him! I'm saying this so we don't have to kill him, God damn it! I'm just asking now, because I have one bullet left, and if it's gotta go in their skull... No. no! No, 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 we're not doing that. Uh, so, like, so there's, like, um, like, the claws or something. There's three claws. Cool, uh, how many charges does Golden Eagle have left? Three. Oh god. <laughs> Candy's actually gonna look at Eagle and say, Okay, um, on the count of three, uh, I'll take that cloth over there and you take that one to his left over there. To their left, uh, over there. Alright then. Okay. What you're doing. Uh, one, two, three, and three. Roll. Power. I guess that would be a power, yeah. Oh, Christ. Well, he just botched that completely. Christ almighty, they both botched it. <laughs> what did I expect? Alright. Well, y'all try to grab those cloths, right? And, uh, they just... One of the claws on the cloth shoots out to just 
essentially stab at Golden Eagle's neck. <sighs> the, uh, the other one, the other cloth, it's a little longer. It goes to wrap around Candy's neck. Oh! Not claw, not stab. Goes to wrap around Candy's neck and squeeze. Oh, Christ. Mm, I'm getting choked. That's mm, not <laughs> nice. Candy is going to try and burn the claw that is, like, squeezing him. Well, you'll need to, in that retaliation, get more than one six. Christ almighty, is this power or some shit? Uh... Mm, it could be dexterity if you wanted, just because you're exercising your control over your power. Cool. What the fuck? You're getting choked. And Golden Eagle, you're getting... Essentially, you got stabbed. So both of you roll me a d4. The Welcome one fucking time. The one face. fucking time. It is now Harriman's turn. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay, so I one end, someone's getting choked on another end. Oh, God. How go about that because oh uh, uh. <laughs> well i think his number one focus would probably actually be trying to help candy because holy shit they're being choked <laughs> so uh oh god what... oh gosh i don't Uh, you are at two hours and twenty-seven. Okay. Any luck, Harriman? Okay. So, I think at the moment his thought process is okay. I think currently where it stands, he's probably going to try to. So it's scars, right? Yeah, they're scarves, but they are a very thick, hard-to-break material. Oh boy. Would it be possible to try to get, get it off of Eigner? To try to? I mean, you try pulling the, uh, the scarves off, sure, you're gonna need a lot of power to pull it off in one go. Oh gosh, that would- he's not good at power, though. Oh gosh, what could I do? Uh, I'm not smart. <laughs> okay, let me think. Uh, mm, mm. My gut instinct is just like, on one end, he could just go rush in with the umbrella, just, just see if he can, but if they're not already conscious, then that's a fucking problem. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I'm overthinking. Uh... It's okay. Our options are not good, so valid.
is it possible to well it's still going to technically be proud but it would kind of i bet it would throw um them off if <laughs> harriman were to just take the um the hook end of his umbrella and try to um use that with a uh, like with the scarf to try to get it at the scarf you want to hook onto the scarves yeah well don't try to you can use dexterity for that to hook on okay i can do that i can do that <laughs> oh damn okay Holy shit. Good. All right, so you do succeed in hooking your umbrella onto those scarves. Are you going to try to pull to like yeah. get them off or do you just Okay, that's going to be a power. All right. <laughs> Fuck. Can I luck point it? <laughs> if you have luck points, you can- you can- I'm a- I'm a luck point it. <laughs> yes! Alright, so you try to tug at first and it doesn't work well, but then you tug again and you do actually manage to loosen the, the scarves. You don't pull them off entirely, but like, you've got enough of a grip on them that if you pulled again, you could probably slip them off them uh they look pissed at that though and uh also you pulling the scarves pulls candy forward because candy's still being choked ah! oh, no. candy like stumbles <laughs> forward uh i need you to roll a move to get out of the way of one of the claws coming towards you wait me no 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 dorky oh, okay 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 so all right. Fuck! I'm gonna use another one. Christ. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fuck. Fine. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I I love how they pretty much got almost the exact same roll. What the fuck? F <laughs> is fuck. He's going to get his ass kicked once so again. That claw that came at you stabs at your wrist to make you let go of the umbrella. I need you to roll me a d4. <sighs> and also a grip, if you want to see if you can keep your grip, despite the damage you have just taken. Alright. Why is it always so fucking me? <laughs> okay. Me, 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 dorky. Me, fucking solidarity. Okay. solidarity. Take your damage, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna take my fucking damage, but also I'm gonna roll that grip as well. <laughs> Holy shit. Good thing okay. I have so many fucking survival points. Jesus Christ. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. He, 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 he... The umbrella is wrenched from your grasp by just... The pain shooting through your hand, it's too much. You let go of the umbrella. Ah! <laughs> Eigner pulls that claw out, wraps it around your umbrella, unhooks it, and they now have your umbrella. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Oh no. It's Lisa's turn! Oh boy. Yeah, his totally perfectly normal umbrella, his baby, his his thing, his his technically iconic weapon. <laughs> F. He's already panicked. <laughs> Christ Almighty. For more than one reason. <laughs> Christ Almighty. 
This is shaping up to be one heck of a disaster. Y'all really fucking it. I'm debating. I'm dead ass debating on just using the fucking. If that's what Lissa would do, then take the fucking shot. Yeah, but it's the last bullet. If that's what Lissa would do. Hmm. How close are they? You're close enough. Fairly point blank. Crikey. Are they close enough that I could pistol whip them in the head? You'd have to give me a move. Give me a move, then a power. <laughs> it's not black, it's green. <laughs> ah! You try to run over and you trip. <laughs> well, that's the end of my turn, I guess. Yeah, you just ate shit. It's Eigner's turn. <laughs> Eigner is... Fixing their scarves a bit. And then they hold out the umbrella. And they just go to thwack Harriman with it over the head. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I should make a move. Or at least try to, maybe. <laughs> nah, they fail anyway. They try to threat they try to thwack Harriman in the head and it just misses. Can Harriman try to grab it? <laughs> you can use that failure as an opportunity to grab the umbrella. Alright. So that would be Grip it, baby. Fuck! He tries to grab it, he can't. Everyone's nope. fucking butterfingers today, I guess, huh? It is Golden Eagle's turn. Crikey. Cool. Uh, hmm. So, I'm gonna try to get behind him and literally choke him out. That's a move and a power. Okay, so I'll move. Uh, fun. Let's see if you... Nope. F. I forgot you don't- I was about to say luck points, but then I was like, wait, I don't think you have luck points, do you? Eagle is purely a skill character, and he dumped most of that into power. He's a bully. Alright, you try to fly, or, you know, get around uh, them fast enough, and they... Fire out one of the scarves? And just tie it around one of your legs and pull so that you trip. And you just eat shit on the pavement. <laughs> okay. Am I able to just grab the scarf then and pull him down? You can. You can grab. Uh, roll me a grip. Oh, a grip? Okay. Sorry, it's different than a power. But, okay, grip. You do pull the scarf and it tugs them down to the ground. Uh, so now you both get to roll a d4 because you you took some damage on impact with the. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm down to nine. Right. Alrighty. And with that, it's Sandstorm's turn. Oh. It's time for the hero to fight back, or the other hero. Oh boy. Um. 
uh, I'm gonna rush up to them and try to check them in the gut with my sand. Dang, I that's just a straight up power. Is that not also a move? You know, yeah, it is a move too, because you have to get up there. You do have luck points. You can use a luck point. Yeah, I'm gonna use a luck point. Woo! <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, sh oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say with a success that good, you propel your speed into your power. So, like, with the speed, you make the impact hit. <laughs> and you gut just, just fucking slam either in the fucking gut. It worked before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good use of your turn. Damn, you just Part of the pocket sand. <laughs> pocket sand. <laughs> That's especially pocket sand. All right, candy. Uh, you yes, were please. let go, by the way, during this. You were <sighs> let go. You are no longer being choked. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Uh, Candy McFucking pissed. Um, uh, first of all, how damaged is everyone? I'm at about nine health, so that's not bad for Golden Eagle. It's not, he's not down to half yet. He's about two way, uh, two points away from that. So he's fine. Eigner looks a little worse for wear. Christ. Okay. Hmm. So we really just n trying to knock out Eigner, huh? Also, I will tell you the NPCs are not in the turn order, but you can talk to them during this if you want them to do something. I should have said that before, but it slipped my mind. I'm a bad DM. Me looking at eat sauce going like sip. Okay, so we have Eatsarts, we have Tim. Uh shit. Uh Me being unsure if Candy should know if Eatsarts has science powers, but like uh... If it's a secret then there would be no way of knowing, so and that would explain why Eatsarts isn't using them. Fucking stupid. Um. Uh. Hey. Uh. Um. Uh, you know what? Candy's gonna call out to Lissa. Hey, Lissa. Uh. How much of a? Uh, how how? Hmm. How well can your brother punch? Don't ask him to do anything. He can't open a pickle jar. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Fair point. Uh, hmm. What? No! I can kick their ass! Candy looking over at Eats Eyes and he's, he's like, uh, hey, so. Punch. Punch him. Punch him, please. Uh, oh, okay, okay, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I actually need to get Ethan's stats. Hold on one second, I have his sheet. Give me three moments. Tim is literally the worst person in this whole fucking group to make an attempt at punching it. <laughs> Here you go. 
All right, you want to punch? You want to punch? You want to punch? You want to punch? I. Right. Uh, so he's gonna punch, uh, and then Candy's gonna try and use his fire to burn off one of the other scarves. Uh, I need to roll dex, right? To try and burn- Eatsots eats shit. What? Ooh. Wait. No, wait a minute. <laughs> What's he fucking roll? <laughs> Move. Bro! <laughs> Bro! Ethos tries to run forward and one oh of the God. scarves just shoots out and trips him and he eats shit. Anyway, banana slam on Jesus Christ. First of all, Candy is fucking face bombing. He's like, oh my fucking God. But, um, Candy's weighing his options. He's looking around and he's like, ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. This isn't good. Uh. Fuck. Um, is there anything I can use as a weapon or anything? Or, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna. I'll just it. stop the car and hmm. fuck it up. So there's not a whole lot around. You know what? I'm gonna try a very non-violent method. Uh, I'm gonna try and charm. Yeah. Charm. I'm gonna try and like sing to maybe try and calm the scarves down or something i don't want <laughs> i don't know what i'm or doing or at least get through to eigner yes all right shit give it a try holy fuck candy you better not fucking eat shit i swear to god the perfect opportunity. <laughs> oh. This charm, right? Holy shit. It's charm, right? Del? It's charm! Okay, cause I have... Hmm. Hold on one second. It checks, checks the manual. Damn it. That's inspired. That's not fucking. Damn it. Yeah, you can't inspire them out of it. You gotta. Yeah, I got a charm. Well, I still have one extra luck point just in case this fucking fails. Oh. God damn it. I was using my guitar. I should have added one. Oh, damn it. It's fine, you got two successes. So oh, yeah, you... I got it anyways. <laughs> you use the power of fucking song, I guess. You... What, you sick? Yes, yeah, so I'm fucking sick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because you have nothing in mind for what he's singing. I'm just imagining he's singing Baby Got Back. But, oh my. <laughs> hearing... <laughs> Staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> staying alive. And uh, through hearing you sing, though, you do actually see their ears twitch, and they like kind of falter a bit. Can't go like, oh shit, it's working. Huh? I wasn't expecting to work. Huh? Yeah, they're like genuinely like actually like they actually go up to cover their ears. Uh, if you're gonna continue, I need you to roll another one. Another, another charm? One. Yes. I'm using my guitar, so that's a plus one, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, because I'm whipping out the guitar. <laughs> you better play it out, man. Bitchy shit, give me a second. I'm rolling with my fucking last luck point. Go ape! Yeah! Goes ape! Alright. So, you keep playing, you get louder and louder, and they do keep, like, faltering. They drop to their knees with their ears covered. And you can kind of hear, like, 
almost like a high pitched whine coming from Eigner, but you don't know from where on them. That that whine, just that that very annoying whine. Uh, after you keep playing a bit more, you kind of drown it out. Cool. And with that, Eigner like blinks a bit. And then looks around and then looks at Lissa, sees the gun, just hit me in the back of the head. What the fuck? Do I need to roll for that or can I just do it? Yeah, uh, give me a power just to see how hard you hit, but you can hit regardless. I was going to say, if she wasn't going to hit, Golden Eagle was just going to punch him in the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, smack the motherfucker. <laughs> she has a lot of rage. <laughs> Oh no! Agner is knocked out by the impact. He's got a big old bruise on the top of their head. Yeah, Agner is knocked out cold by that impact. Uh oh. And, uh. However, after a moment, their scarves lift them up to standing, and they shake their head as if shaking themselves awake, like. Oh, that's not gonna knock me out. No, no, no. And they're like blinking. They're like, oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, that hurt. Well, do you want me to hit you again? No. No, I don't think I could take another. Okay. So what on earth just happened? Fowl did something to my head. I don't know what it is. Okay. Well... All I knew was that it was in the back of my head. So if you knocked it hard enough, I figured maybe that'll just destroy it or break it or something. Seems like it worked. So the plan was that we pretend that I and Candy are dead. I'm going to need some place to hide from the public eye. I think I might know a place. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. Hold on, little kitty. I'll fly you right to it. Oh, good. Hey, I owe you. If you need, I don't know, a better costume sometime, come to me for it. What's wrong with my costume? Eh, I could stand to be a little stronger. A little bolder. I'll have to contemplate this. Anyways, let's take you to our little safe house. And with that golden eagle, yep. you some take up. Eigner. And fly him <laughs> off. Oh my god. Now. <laughs> oh. Uh, Can we? Wait, before I go, yes. maybe. I don't know. Do all of you have. Do all of you have the Waddler app or something that can get you a lift or something? Uh. Candy looking at Eat Sauce going like, no, we actually don't. Yeah, that was hmm. my car. Ugh. Fine. Where's that green annoying thing? You know, I think me and my brother are all set. We're gonna walk. I need to talk to him. Cool. What? No, cool. we could get a. a uh, uh, okay. So, let's say you take Tim and just walk off. Oh yeah. She drags him. <laughs> Oh, anyways, you all can figure that out. You all probably have cell phones. Later! Oh my hey, fucking bye. god. <laughs> Dickhead? Okay, uh... Hmm. I guess we're walking? Itzots looks at Harriman and at Sandstorm like, uh... I don't know, maybe we could, uh, Call someone... Harriman is going for his umbrella. Where is his umbrella? <laughs> He has his umbrella. He can pick it up. <laughs> okay, he's picking it up. He looks kind of thoroughly peeved because he just walked off with the guy, did not say where he was actually going, and just, okay. Candy going like, I'm calling your mom, Eat Sots. Okay, okay. Maybe, uh, I could get everyone else <sighs> here a ride? Yeah, yeah. 
but somebody has to bring the other fucking car. Maybe Grim. I don't know. Let's see who picks up first. Candy's calling home. Grim picks up. Like, hello! Hi! Hey, Grim! Uh, so, Itzatz's car got destroyed, and we kind of need you to bring the what? other one here. Listen, and you know what? Crazy shit. Town. You know what? Uh, just, just get over here, please. And Candy just tells him uh, where they are. Okay, okay, I'll be there. Uh, sure, sure. And he hangs up without any more questions. No more questions. You have someone on the way to pick you up. That is how you guys are left. Uh, Colton Eagle, you have Eigner. Do you take Eigner where I believe you take Eigner? Or... Uh, to Uno. Yep, you fly up to Ducklair Tower and the doors open for you and Uno in his android body is just sitting in the lobby like, I told you not to bring people He, Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I guess... This must be a special case. Look, don't blame me. PCs. Look, don't blame me. It was Cliff's eyes. Personally, I wanted to throw this moron in jail, but he convinced me otherwise. So here. Agner hops out of Eagle's grasp and hurries over, just like, oh, this place is nice. Nice enough. Roomy. Very roomy. A lot of rooms. A lot of very empty rooms. Would you like one? I suppose I must have one. Mm hmm Uno looks at Wilden Eagle and just like, well, despite everything, you did do a good job, so congrats. Naturally. Well, toodles. Goodbye, Cliff. And with that, yep. you have reached the end. And Yay! So you oh, oh that was stressful as shit <laughs> I, how was it stressful i think we did fine okay uh no it's not your fault it's not your fault i need every stop, single one of you, know? you to know that the entire